Hey, welcome back to Mail Call with me, Larry. I'm your host. And before I get into the Mail Call, pin carry for this week. Are we ready? Okay, let's start here. Pin carry, pin carry. Here is my most trusted, worthy, me, uh, Dejanti Mirage. That's number one out. Second is a fabulous fountain pen. I mean fabulous. It is the Pilot Namiki Custom. I'm trying to get that number here for you. 743, the large, right? Beautiful, elegant. I mean, the nib is to die for. So this has taken me some time to make that jump to get this pin, but I have the other pilot that, you know, when they split apart, pilot went one way, and Miki the other, I can tell the difference. But an utterly great, fabulous fountain pen. Pilot rocks, new Mickey rocks, all of them rock. And Vanishing Point, that 1.0 stub, beautiful writer. And one super great fountain pen that I really enjoyed so much that I got all three, actually four. <laughs> this is the Diplomat Arrow with a 14K broad nib. I don't have it with me, I just put it up, but I have the Diplomat Arrow Blue with a medium 14K nib. So I had to get the Diplomat Arrow, the brown finish, but with a fine steel nib to do a pin comparison. And then Mr. Announcer really surprised me when he got me this beautiful Parker Vintage 1945 Vacumatic, the major blue. This pen is super, super bad, awesome. The nib, to me, it's like a gold nib. It's smooth, wet. It's everything I need a pen to be. It's really a great fountain pen. I'm not done yet. The Retro 51 Lincoln fountain pen. You know, this was another pen that took me a long time to get into these pens. But thanks to Janice, our pen club leader here in Fort Worth, she has uh, one and I was able to write with it. And, uh, well, watch the review and it's going to tell you all about this pen. When I first did uh, the opening mail on this pen, it has a Schmidt nib in it. I'm not too crazy about, but I'm going to leave it at that. Watch the review and it'll just dig what I'm saying. Crazy cool pen. Love it. And we have the the new Lamy Safari, the pastel colors, the blue sky. I believe this is a macaron version. Last but not least, the ultimate great Jin Hao 159, but with a Anderson fine nib I have in it. This is the pen that got me started with the Mont Blanc 149. So there you have my pen carry for right now. All right, now it's time for this. I'm going to talk a little bit about it after I open it, explain to you where I'm going with this and why. Open for me. I purchased this pen from Gold Spot Pens. Yep. There's you that bill of sale. And here it is. We get a good look at that. Retro 51, baby. So, you know, let's go ahead and open it. This is the Tornado Rollerball pin, and it's the Lincoln version. You know, since I got the fountain pin, 
I said, you know what, let's go ahead and check out the rollerball, see how nice it's supposed to be right. Now, I'm not going to do any uh, writing right now, just unboxing it. And this is how it comes. They come in different tubes, really are cool. It goes back to the days that used to pop, that holler, that just <laughs> scream. <laughs> retro, <laughs> retro. So, life is too short. To carry an ugly pen. So, let's open this jewel up. Pop. And you have your little booklet inside. Tells you about it. And here is the rollerball. And I will leave that at that. So, stay focused on Larry's Fountain Pens. I'll be doing a review on this. Rollerball. I am very excited and anxious to see how well this rollerball performs. You know, I'm not into fountain pens. I'm in over my head in love with fountain pens. Am I not? Oh, yes. So, that's taking it like over the volcanoes. But one thing... You know, no, I'm not into ballpoint pens. Yes, I have a few. You never know when you need them. I really do enjoy the gel pens. Paper Mate is one of my favorite gels. I do have some rollerballs. I do like my cross rollerball uh, pen. That's been out of ink for some time, but I haven't bought any more uh, refills yet because I have so many others to check out. So... I have high expectations on this pen, so I hope it delivers. Okay, folks, last but not least, if you hadn't subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget, while you're at it, hit that little bell that'll notify you when I load up videos. And what's really important, and you all can help me, if you hit that like button, that's going to give me thumb, thumbs up, and that's really going to help me on YouTube. That's going to give me a boost, baby. Are you digging my hat? Hello. So, and remember, I do take PayPal and Patreon for those who or can support my channel. This helps me more than you will ever realize. And I will start mentioning some of the names of the folks that been helping supporting me uh so no i haven't forgot y'all never but anyway that's how i roll until my next video stay safe and remember please please don't text and drive later folks bye bye hey welcome mail call are we ready here we go mail call mail call mail call the best time of the year mail call let mail call so let's cut this little baby open. Alright. I need to get myself a good pocket knife, right? One really sharp. Maybe one day, God knows. Maybe Santa Claus will bring me one. Maybe not. But until then, here we go. Here is this beautiful Paniter, and I will do a full review on it, but I'll just give you a glance at this beautiful Paniter. I have, I believe, a black one, but, you know, I like them so well that I got another, and look at this beautiful baby. Look at that. Look at this fountain pen. Paniter knocked it out. Great looking fountain pen. Classy. Uh rich, vibrant, it just pops, and I liked it so much, that's why I got this one, so, hey, everybody, thank you for joining me on Mail Call today, until my next Mail Call, stay safe, and don't text and drive, bye-bye.